All right, time to check in with more student athletes as we get you ready for the start of the Utah State football season. Excited to chat with our next two guests because these are the two guys that really make it go up front. Alfred Edwards and Andy Koch as the offensive line is now in the spotlight today. And uh, gentlemen, thanks for coming on, man. We appreciate it. Of course, of course. Thank you. Andy, let's start with you. I know a lot of people are interested to know how your rehab's going from that injury last year. How you feeling right now? Man, it's great. We're almost 100%. It's been a long time. It's been a long grind, but we're almost to the end, and I'm almost, almost fully healthy. How frustrating was that for you last year to have to watch your, uh, watch your teammates in action uh, and have to sit on the sidelines? Man, it's tough. Any competitor will know the feeling, just not being able to go out there and play and make a difference. But it was honestly a big blessing for me to be able to watch and just be there for my teammates and have the opportunity to just learn more about the game from the sidelines. Alfred, you were the uh, guy coming back that had some experience. Uh, you're kind of the leader of that room. What's that role been like for you? Uh, it's been going pretty good. You know, it's not a not a tough uh, group of guys to lead. Honestly, they're highly motivated, ready to come work every day. So, you know, it's been a real good time for me. So, Alfred, let's let's continue on. How has these last few months been for you with the the whole COVID thing and and what you've had to deal with there and and going home and finishing classes online and no spring ball. What's that, what's, what's that process been like for you? Um, I feel like for everybody, it was really just a time to focus on yourself and try to get as, get as better as you can by yourself, you know, just do your own workouts, finish school on your own. So it was a, it was a tough time for everybody, just like everybody else in the world. Andy, how about you? How, you know, when you're trying to come back from an injury and, not being able to have access to some of the facilities and maybe the strength and conditioning staff. Uh, has that impacted you one way or another, or has it just been full speed ahead? Uh, with the rehab going home during quarantine, it was tough not being around our physical therapists every day, being able to have them hands on with me. So there was a little bumps in the road with that, but that's just some of the things you got to deal with and be it the obstacles you got to overcome. Alfred, without uh, having, uh, you know, that big strength facility you can go to every day, uh, how, how did you how did you stay in shape and how were you able to keep uh, grinding and getting ready for the season? Man, just a lot of, uh, when I was back home, a lot of push-ups, <laughs> a lot of sit-ups, <laughs> a lot of, you know, just bodyweight workouts, you know, just had to do what I had to do. Andy, how about you in that regard? Man, I had I had a blessing as a friend, had a nice little gym, home gym I was able to use just to keep my strength up. And then just a field, you just got to find it when you can to go run on. When you got guys back on campus, how, how is everybody? Is it kind of fun to see everybody and, uh, and catch up and see how, how guys are doing? Almost definitely. It's been a long time because – in football, you really do become brothers, and so it's like not being able to see your family for three months. So having everybody back and being around everybody is just awesome to have that feeling of camaraderie again. Alfred, how about you? Yeah, basically what Andy said, you know, it was it's a lot of fun being able to work out with the guys again, even if it's limited, but it's better than nothing for me. So it's good to get back to the grind. From an offensive lineman standpoint, Alfred, uh, how did you feel like the position group played last year and what kind of improvements do you guys want to make this year? Uh, well, we're, you know, everybody, we're young and uh, we kind of, we were banged up, but we still battled every game. I feel like uh, we, uh, we definitely just worked our, worked our tails off every game and I'm excited to see what happens this year but now that we're a little more experienced and we have a lot of guys coming back. I gotta imagine, Alfred. It's nice seeing Andy come back and getting him back in the lineup too. Yes, sir. That's gonna be a great piece to this offensive line. Andy, how do you think uh, you were playing uh, before you went down? Because everybody I talked to kept talking about what a what a tremendous asset you were to that offensive line. Did you feel like you were playing at a high level before you went down? Everybody can always play better. Um, I don't think I I don't think I was playing to the expectation that my coach and my peers had uh had for me or most importantly that I have for myself but I was hoping to be able to get better every weekend by the end of the season I would have been a pretty solid player 
Let's talk about new offense. Uh, without a spring ball, it's kind of difficult to implement a new offense. But what are – Alfred, let's start with you. What are your impressions from what you've seen from Coach Reeder and what he wants to bring to the table? Well, I feel like we've been doing a pretty good job of uh, – we had a lot of Zoom meetings over this uh, past couple of months during the quarantine. So I feel like that gave a lot of us a chance to study it more uh, virtually. You know, it's going to be hard not getting those reps. But I feel like we've done the best we can to understand it. And I feel like a lot of us are getting there pretty good. You excited about this offense, Andy? Yes, sir. Uh, it's going to – we're going to have a lot of – a lot of pieces that people are going to have to stop and a lot of components to our offense that people are going to have to try and figure out. And I feel like we're very diverse now going into this year with our playbook. You know, there was a lot of guys that uh, got playing time last year due to injuries and, and, and things along those lines. Andy, I got to imagine that's probably good because now you got some guys with some experience across that line. Oh yeah, most definitely. And it just makes us all better too, because when, the backup guys are giving the starting guys competition and a run for their money. It just pushes the starting guys to work harder and vice versa. It just, it's just a cycle where people are just motivated and we're always competing. So it'll be a good battle to see who starts going into this year. Alfred, I got to imagine there's going to be quite a battle there too, isn't there, for those spots? Yeah, so we got a lot of guys coming back that uh, can play. Yeah, and we seen that last year, so I'm, I'm really excited for it. What's the, what's it like in that off? Because, all right. So I want to say this nicely, but I've uh, I've talked to a lot of guys that say the offensive line meeting room is probably the most unique group of guys. The offensive linemen are just wired a little differently, maybe than everybody else. Uh, what, what what what's it like inside that room? You guys have a good time? Yeah, we have a pretty good time, honestly. You know, we have the we have the most the biggest group of guys. So. Uh, I feel like it's kind of fun. We we obviously, when it's time to work, we work. But, you know, we, we still have a lot of fun in there. Andy, fun group in there? Yeah, like Fred said, our coach just brings an atmosphere to where we can feel, like, comfortable around each other and be able to have a good time. But when it comes down to business, it's business. And we're going to be the try, try and be the hardest workers in the facility at the end of the day. Andy, what's, uh, what, what's TJ like as a coach? Because everybody sees him. He's a big, gruff-looking dude. Uh, what's he like to play for? Man, he's tough, but he knows his stuff. He's a really smart coach, and even when it comes to all aspects of the game, it's really just nice to be able to have him as a coach to be able to help you understand situations and understand what to expect when you see certain things. He's going to bust your butt, and he's going to try and get you to be mentally tough, but it's an awesome pleasure to coach for him or play for him. Alfred, you've, you've been around a couple of line coaches. Are, are all of them kind of that way, kind of gruff and in your face and, uh, and rough you up a little bit? Yeah, that's just, that's just playing offensive line. That's just going to happen. Yeah. You know? That's the nature of the position. But uh, I feel like Coach Woods does a really good job of uh, allowing us to uh, use the techniques that work for us as individuals and uh, help us out in that regard. How much fun was it seeing a quarterback go in the first round that you guys played with over the last couple of years? Man, that was awesome. It was, it was absolutely fantastic. Just being able to say you blocked for him, that, that's going to be something you could say for the rest of your life right there. Mm -hmm. Alfred, you, uh, I'm sure you got to be, as well as all you guys, got to be super close with him. Uh, what do you think sets him apart and allows and what you think will allow him to be successful in the next level? Uh, he he works his tail off, man. He uh, He's a humble dude and he just he just sits there and grinds. So I'm excited for him to see what happens in the next couple of years. How about you, Andy? Like what Fred said, he's probably one of the most humble guys you'll ever meet. And you you if you were to meet him on the street, you wouldn't even expect him to be a first round quarterback. He's just that humble, just that to himself. And he was always working every single day. All right, so Andy, let's talk about Henry. We had him on the broadcast a couple of weeks ago. He seems confident. He seems ready to go. What do you think will make Henry uh, successful in this offense? I think confidence does play a key. I think when you do play quarterback, you got to have a certain swagger and a certain confidence. 
Um, and he also knows the playbook really well. A lot of guys have respect for him. So I think he's going to be in a position where he's going to be able to be successful. Alfred, how about you on Henry? You excited to play, play in front of him? Yes, I am. You know, he's a, like Andy said, he has a lot of confidence and that's, that gives us, us confidence and he has confidence in his team. So I feel like he's going to do a great job this year. Let's talk about your running backs. Uh, Jalen Warren, I know was a little beat, beat up last year, but, but he's, he's ready to go again. Alfred, what do you see out of that running back room and what do you expect out of them this year? I mean, I feel like there's some tough dudes, especially, you know, Jalen starting it off, you know, he's a, he's a workhorse, man. He's going to, he's going to grind. So I'm excited to see what he does. Andy, you feel like you got some horses back there you guys can block for? Yeah, I do. I feel like we're pretty deep, too. Um, with the freshmen coming in, John, too, I think we're going to have some competition in that room. And then when late in the game, I feel like we're going to have multiple dudes to be able to go to. I know it could be, uh, you know, you're living through a weird time right now that nobody's ever, we've never really dealt with anything like this before. How strange has that made it for you and Alfred? We'll start with you and, and trying to mentally and physically prepare for an upcoming season. You, you know, you got to prepare. Oh, go ahead, Fred. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, like Gandhi, I think, was about to say, he's got to prepare for uh, anything. But we're preparing for a full season, and we're just keeping our mind on that, not focusing on anything negative, and just, uh, just basically treating it like we're going to go for a full season. Andy, you as well? It's always better to over-prepare. Make sure you're ready when the time comes. And if the time doesn't come, you'll feel better about yourself knowing that you are ready to go. Well, I got to imagine you guys are fired up and ready to go. Uh, hopefully the season will be here before we know it. But, gentlemen, thanks for your time. It's been great catching up with you. Offensive linemen are always my favorite guys to talk to. So thanks for, thanks for joining us. Of course. No problem. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. All right. Have a good one. You too.